Hi, Nick here. I've had a lot of requests lately for marketing that sells and actually gets you reliable testimonials that you can use as content to engage your existing and future audience or future prospects from your potential audience. Okay, so I'm going to walk through this process because it's quite pivotal and people are, uh, lots of different companies uh, have been asking me lately for marketing that works essentially to put into their um, uh, their digital campaigns to be distributed on either Facebook, um, LinkedIn. You could do it on YouTube. I haven't done that yet. Um, definitely mail shots and definitely websites as testimonials. Okay, so I'll walk through this process. It's called a case for action. And the thing about a case for action is it's compelling, right? So we want our audience to be really interested in leaning in and listening to or what reading and, and, and sparking their interest. We want them to have their interest sparked when they're reading your content, not just the vanilla kind of um, news feed, right? It needs to be compelling, right? So I'll walk through this. So first of all, this is called a case for action and it's, Talk, and, and the basis of it is where you are now, the problem, the problem if it continues, the potential solution that the person doesn't know about. So this is for people that are problem unaware, right? So they don't, they're not actually um, fully aware of their problem. Well, they might become aware of it, but they're still solution unaware, right? And so the real question is why are they going to go with you? What What's special about you? What do you know that your competition doesn't know that gets you away from having to compete on price, right? So, um, we need to work as a team to collect testimonials, like um, and, and, and an example of a flooring company I'm working with, they take before and after pictures in big food processing plants. It's part of the job, they have a before picture and an after picture, so it's actually quite easy for them to get that content um, with a home staging company they add a lot of value to the price of the property for sale they could add fifty to a hundred thousand dollars by having it decorated and um, and the right furniture in them in there in the right place and the right kind of um, design set up um, from the end so it's subjective perspective adds a lot of value it's not just about shipping furniture and shipping it out right so we wanted to capitalize on their understanding, the unique perspective, and tell the market. So the market then looks at this company as a company that's going to add value to them and not just be about uh, who's got the cheapest gear, who's got the cheapest furniture. And it's the same with the flooring company as well. Why would we go with them? And instead of, there's a people, question people ask themselves, why would I go with you instead of just anyone, right? And the answer is always your unique perspective, your capability and knowledge, right? You're not just delivering a product, you're adding value to it. And um, that's what we want to sell based on. We want to sell on value that we're adding, not on cheapest price, right? So background story. The point of the background story is um, um, and this is for a, say, a mail shop, for example. So once you've designed this template and got it in Word and filled in these components, you can put it into a mail shot um, anywhere you like, right? Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, okay? So to get the testimonial, we want to, first of all, get the backstory or the background story outlining what the person was experiencing. Then we weave in the likely scenario if... ABC company, that's you, um, if we hadn't come along. And we need to be a little bit subtle about it. We can't um, slam, um, like, I, like I might slam um, account ex-accountant business coaches, which I probably shouldn't, but, but I probably have from time to time, uh, out of frustration because there's a lot more to it than just money, right, than, than just counting what happened. And so... Um, but I have to be careful about that, right? So in my marketing, I need to say something along the lines of um, um, if um, if we hadn't come along and looked at 
the people issues or the sales issues or the, the lack of strategy that they were rudderless or that they were had a short time frame to get ex- exit the business, um, uh, they were uh, didn't know what to do. They were were at their wit's end, for example. Um, then we looked at the property. So this is the example of the property situation. Uh, then we looked at the um, situation, floor, property, whatever it is, uh, clients' current experience, and we thought they actually needed a digital marketing campaign. That's me, but or they actually needed a specific kind of resin that um, could handle. Uh, uh, high hygiene wearing and uh, hygiene and high wearing environments, or we, they needed a very specific furniture pack um, because it's a high end property, right? So whatever we thought our unique perspective, we actually uh, shared our perspective with them, or we went away and we looked at it and we thought about it, and then we came back and said, we think that you should do this, right? So you add that and weave that into your text in your case for action. So that's the bridge from where they were headed to where they would like to ideally go, right? So that's the bridge, your perspective, what you thought they should do different and what you were gonna add in terms of the value. And quite often people underestimate how much value they have in their intellectual capability because you've labored hard to, uh, develop the understanding that they haven't got, right? And so when you communicate that, and, and we think it's normal because we just think, because we do it every day, right? But when you communicate that, the market goes far out. That's cool. Oh, that's what I want. I don't really, not too worried about the price. I actually want to know that the person can solve the problem. Okay. So then back it up with before and after picks, social proof. And it's also social proof because it's from a client, okay? And then testimonial. And we need to be a little bit scared, uh, uh, concerned for making sure that we uh, don't steer a testimonial, we just get an honest testimonial. And I had a situation the other day where I sold a product and the customer was really happy and she came back and asked me for another one. And... um, I gave her, um, uh, I sent her the link so she could download it, so she could buy it. And um, and uh, I said, oh, and by the way, can you give me a, a review? This is an Amazon product, a product I'm selling on Amazon in the US. And I said, oh, by the way, can you give me a review? And she said, yeah, more than happy to. And because she was really, really happy, right? So really important to get those testimonials. Um, quite often clients don't know how to give you a testimonial, so you can give them a template which is just with, with something along the lines of um, introduction, who we are, <clears throat> problem we're trying to solve, um, how uh, absolute resurfacing helped or how ABC company helped or, or whoever helped and um, therefore what I've got now. So if you give, if you, you, if you give them that template, they, it's, it actually enables them because quite often people don't know what to write, they feel a bit awkward Okay, so the headline needs to be congruent with the body text. Okay, the subject header needs to be congruent, meaning that um, there's something in the so that people just automatically feel um, like it's consistent. Um, that the that what what they're opening is consistent with the subject header. I, I don't like the idea of big smashing subject headers. I think I like the idea of subtle subject headers that are consistent with the message and it's just much more palatable, less salesy. Um, It's a hidden formula and I've seen this work really, really well, like fantastic. Um, And and there's a whole uh, whole YouTube clip from a guy that I watched in a a two and a half hour webinar that talked about this this process of how to get um, congruence in your material, your advertisement, and your subject header, um, because what it does is it increases open rates because people just feel like they're not being sold to and they're curious, naturally curious. We want to invoke natural curiosity. Okay, and works well in um, social media as well as campaigns. Um, consistency, 
must, must, must be consistent, right? Monthly or six weekly or uh, uh, 12 weekly or, you know, 10 weekly, whatever your frequency is, you need to be able to keep it going. Um, otherwise, don't start or change the frequency. And it's really important point because um, your audience is watching. And if you keep delivering consistently, after about two or three months, they go, these guys are just, they're always here. They're just here. I rely on, I can rely on them. And I've got a guy I've been talking to uh, for a number of years, and he's so consistent in his uh, delivery of his material, and I'm following him, and, um, and I've spoken to him a couple of times because I'm really interested in what he has, and it, it matches my, uh, my need. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just suggesting that um, that you diarize, schedule, a consistent, like make it a program for the business, um, a consistent schedule, and onboard some of the team to get you, like especially the production guys, to get you the material you need to send the right marketing message to the audience and and keep that going consistently. That's it for now. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Cheers.